Hey, Jeff. Hey. Welcome I got, to Groovy I, X Farm. I got a gift for you. <laughs> Look at this. Groovy, man. <laughs> if I could get some hens to lay that color and that color. Oh. And that one's almost possible. But, yeah. Uh, that one, you, you're not getting orange. What are we getting today? We'll go look at them. Yeah, we're yeah. getting chickens. We're getting chickens. Chicken, chickens. Yeah. Give me one too. I'm getting a rooster. Oh wait. I'm getting a rooster. Is she getting a she rooster? Getting In case I you didn't recognize that voice. I, 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 I must snatch, snatch a hen. She. <laughs> Look at his face. Pay for a hen. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We had some other foreigners show up over here. I'm not sure who they are. Oh, look at look at what the cat drug in. Oh, I love your hair. Well, Deborah, she's cool. I don't know about him. I am totally down. <laughs> You're late. Well, the cleanup begins at Ruby Eggs Farm. He's got a lot of trees down. Lots of trees down. Here's our five new girls from Groovy Egg Farms. Our future egg layers. We are super excited. They're so pretty. Awesome. What you got there, Mama B? This is a black copper moran rooster. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, McGee did not work out because he hated me. He was mean. He was mean to me. Uh, he yeah. attacked me every time I went in there and even when I wasn't in there. He's so, pretty. Jeff and I talked and McGee is coming to stay here. And uh, this little black copper moran who has a much better temperament is going to be coming home with me to Possum Run. Yeah. So it's beautiful. I don't beautiful. for him yet, so... Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. He's pretty. He's pretty and he's talking. Yeah. Yeah. He he's going to go in with my girls. Yeah, he's going to ride home with your girls. Well, you're home. He's going to ride home to my home with your girls. Yes. And then he's going to go meet his girls. That's right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mama B's coming with us. We're going to go eat. And I got everybody. <laughs> Say bye, Ron. He's going to give us this truck. Isn't that nice of him? Ah, I'm lying. <laughs> Everyone's saying goodbye. They got to meet the boss. Oh, I'm, I'm waving to you. I'm going with you. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, he said, bye, Jen. So, yeah. <laughs> tell Jeff goodbye and Deborah. Meyer Hatchery is charging $22 for baby chick for the ones that they do have. There is a don't storm. There is a storm on chickens. The average well, auction can. price of a cockroach. Bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. <laughs> Bye, Deborah. Bye, Rhonda. Well, we made it home safely. And we decided just to keep the girls in the kennel. And tomorrow they're going to get their new home. Well, you might be asking, why did we drive six hours one way? to get five chickens. I'm gonna tell you why. Because Jeff at Groovy Eggs Farms is the master chicken man. And we have waited a year to get these girls. Jeff takes such good care of his animals and he takes such pride in breeding these chickens. And we knew when we got our olive eggers, that's what they are, they're olive eggers. And wait until morning, I'm gonna show you all the lace 
and the colors are just beautiful. And it's, it's different for us. We've never had darker black hens like this. So it's, but their, their markings are absolutely beautiful. So I want to say a huge thank you to Jeff for contacting us and letting us know our chickens were ready. We're so excited. And we had such a good visit. We got to see Jeff and we got to meet some new, well, we met him already, but uh, meet some other folks that we met before and visit with Deborah and Brett at Tiny Farm Nuggets. They're just such good friends. And then of course, my dear friend, Mama V. Uh, it was so fun to just, it was such a quick trip because we literally went and picked up Mama V, got her rooster, put it in the in the kennel, took off to Jeff's, dropped off the the rooster that Mama V was having trouble with, got her a new rooster, got our five hens, chit chatted for a few minutes. And we were off and then Mama V and the boss and I went and had lunch and it was just so nice to, and then Mama V named her chicken. You'll have to go watch her video to see what she named him. He is gorgeous. Oh, he's gorgeous. Um, but go over to Mama V's at Possum Run Homestead and see what she named him. She did a short on it. And um, anyway, Thank you, Jeff. Thank you so much. It was so wonderful to see you all again, to see you, Jeff, and give you the little groovy necklace. <laughs> but uh, we, the boss was so happy to meet everybody because he never gets to go with me. I'm, I'm always going by myself and he's working, but he was just so happy to meet everybody and put a face with the name and that was a good good day for him but we are absolutely exhausted it was literally 12 hours on the road probably a couple hours not in the car get the chickens and off we went had lunch dropped mama v off and her, her rooster and everything's going great with her new rooster and her chickens her hens so that's good news. But in the morning, I wanna show you all the beautiful colors and, and uh, where we're gonna keep the girls for about a week and um, get them acquainted with our current flock so they don't beat each other up. I mean, I, if they hurt my babies here, I'll be really mad, but uh, everything went well with our old chickens and ducks and so we're we're real hopeful that it'll go well with this too okay so i will see you in the morning and i'm going to show you each of my chickens our chicken our chickens but you know how that goes okay yo i'll see you tomorrow okay here's our girls look at her beautiful lace pattern they're Getting some food with some black sunflower seeds, black oil. Look at her, her marks. And then the one black one has a teal coloring, blue teal. They're just so pretty. Can you see that color on her? Isn't that cool? If I can get my camera to focus. So we'll just put them in the big kennel. The boss put a perch up for them. And uh, all the chickens are getting to know each other. Y'all don't have to step in your food. I guess I need to put that up on a block. 
That's what we're gonna do. So they don't step in it. They like those seeds. Yeah, that's good. Get out of your food. So there's our five new additions to the homestead, y'all.